I hope you guys enjoy the voiceover because I had some audio issues recording this video. So this is pretty much how it's going to be for the rest of it. Here's a quick tour of Action's website and what they offer. A variety of clutches, so whatever you're in the market for, I'm pretty sure they make. In my case, I went stage two, streetcar, I'm not making that much power at all. Drop down menu is pretty straightforward. Here is your, all your selections here. In my case, I needed an Acura Integra 9091. Remember, 9091 is different than 92, 93, and then 94 plus. Pretty straightforward. These are all the options that they have and reach out to them. Great people, great customer service. And uh, besides my little hiccup you'll see later in the video, awesome product. So welcome back inside the garage, guys. I know it's been a while, a lot of things going on at once, but let me catch you guys up. Today's video, what we're going to be doing is installing this stage two action clutch and replacing our OEM unit. Honestly, I really don't know what the mileage on the clutch or the whole setup was when I, when I got the car prior to that, as I've said before, the car sat for about 10 to 12 years in a storage unit. And honestly, this looks pretty good, but honestly, I've heard good things. So I decided to jump on. Really impressed with quality here. Work, uh, craftsmanship's really, really nice. This is a stage two unit. Here's your pressure plate. So let me set this off to the side. Here is your stage two disc. Not bad at all. Pretty substantial, pretty heavy compared to stock. Let's see, let's see if you can get the whole side here. Everything's nice and labeled too. Flywheel side, just in case you were wondering if you've never done this before, make it a little bit easier for you. Here is your flywheel. I did go ahead and wipe this down with brake cleaner. I will do that again, just in case. The pilot bearing here has been pressed in by me. Not bad at all. There's a little bit of a lip at the end, how it is. And then right there on the inside, you can't push it any further because there's a little raised edge there that stops that. So if you've never done that before, pretty straightforward. So here's the whole setup once more. You're gonna put your clutch disc right here. You do wanna kind of make sure that your hands are clean when you touch this stuff. And because you don't want, you don't want any of any kind of like grease or anything getting on any of these surfaces. One more time, I am going to clean this stuff off right before the install, but this is just to show you guys what we got going on here. Again, flywheel, stage two disc, and the pressure plate. These little holes up here, there are three dowel pins on the flywheel itself. You just line that up right there, like that. There it is. So. You have two, four, six, eight, nine of these 12.10 millimeter bolts. And then you have your 12.17 millimeter flywheel bolts. Let's go ahead and show you what we got on the engine side and get this on. Also included in the kit before I forget is the throttle bearing. I didn't film this process, but here are the pictures as well as the service diagram. Pretty straightforward with this as well. 12 millimeter bolt and then that selector comes off. Just put a dab of grease behind it, make sure your spring's in place, and you're good to go. Because starting with the fun stuff, you want to make sure that your surfaces are clean. So what I'm doing there is just spraying some brake clean on a Q-tip and just running it through those threads, those flywheel threads, uh, just to make sure that any kind of leftover thread lock or anything or any debris that is in there gets out of there. And also at this point, I had already changed that rear main seal nice and fresh. So one more little pass just to make sure that everything's good to go. And then we can put our flywheel into place. So after that, you just want to make sure that you line everything up, send your bolts through hand tight at first, and then you're going to go ahead and torque everything down in series in a star pattern.
So now it's time to torque these down to 76 foot pounds again. That flywheel tool is from OEM Tools. Pretty cool. Um, never used this one before. And once I got it figured out, made my life a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and link that in the description below. If you guys are in the market for that, just give it a look. So one last pass with the brake clean and a fresh shop rag, just in case I missed anything on the first pass. So here it is, right? Last step, putting in our pressure plate bolts. So I thought in actuality, it was the final step, but I kind of was hesitant and I'll show you exactly why. You can see me kind of like looking at everything and giving everything a once over, making sure I didn't forget anything. Alignment tool was in good. And now I'm looking at the bolts. My mind's blown. Uh, it's been a while since I did a clutch pressure plate job. And honestly, it's the first time that I've used a lightweight flywheel. So at this moment, I walked away, I looked at the OEM uh, flywheel and I kind of scratched my head, but I kept going. I said, everything's going to be all right. So now I go ahead and send my ratchet in and I meet resistance uh, almost immediately. So I kind of stop and reevaluate because I've had these bolts snap on me before and I thought that maybe something was missed, something wasn't right and checking, checking. Still not enough pressure on that diaphragm. That clutch disc did spin. So I said, all right, let me keep going. Keep going, same thing. Pretty tough. And again, I didn't want to force it. And this is what we're looking at. In hindsight, it was supposed to be this way. But again, I pulled everything off and checked again. Uh, another close up view of what we were looking at when I met resistance. So moving on to the next day now, at this point, I had taken the entire setup off, had the flywheel on my workbench, had someone come by and look at it, and uh, they convinced me to send the bolts through carefully and see what happens. That's exactly what I did. None of the bolts were at 19 foot pounds like they're supposed to be when they got to that resistance point. So I went ahead, pushed through, and as you can see, everything kind of closed up and very carefully got the job done. So again, I put this out there. I could have made a nice fluff video and said, yeah, everything went great. Action's awesome. They are, but I made a mistake just showing you guys that not perfect. So happens. Here it is. Here's the finished product. Alignment tool comes out. Job's done. So here's the back side of the setup. This is what you're going to see. And honestly, being that I've never used a lightweight setup, uh, this was a little weird to see, but again, no clearance issues, so we're wrapped up. Unless I made a mistake, let me know. Drop a comment down there. But for now, let's get this transmission back on. And just like that, first try, as always, right? No issues there. Thanks for joining me on this one, guys. I will see you very, very soon. Big thanks to Action Clutch, and stay busy. Catch you on the next one.